last left our hero. Um, put that on here. That's beautiful. He was performing mayhem on this on the bandsaw. Um, this is the ring from the original top. There's the bridge from the original top. And let's look at the uh, result. It's pretty clean. It's pretty clean. This thing is flat. And believe it or not, this here used to be up here. The geometry of the instrument was just simply not conducive to being able to have it play. So I took out old oh, three-eighths to a half an inch here, three-eighths let's say, and tapered it back to almost nothing here to drop the front to give me enough angle to, the rule of thumb is, this, when it's on these, should hit here. And you can see I'm pretty much on the money. Um, I'm hitting back here because uh, this is too long. But. So the thing had bad geometry, as far as I'm concerned. This is a really nice piece of uh, solid spruce. It's got bear claws in it. And it's now at full thickness, and it's going to remain nearly full thickness. This had kerfing, hand-cut kerfing triangles lining the entire inside. It's getting no kerfing. I may put a little extra right here, and I'm going to reinforce this neck block area where this is carved out of one piece of wood. The other bodies they use instead would be a uh, armadillo that might just simply be put over the, one of these. I'm not sure. Probably not. Um, anyway, the radical part of this, I've got maybe two hours into it, and uh, here's the original top. The original top wasn't very thick, and that led to the problems. This is going to get fan bracing. The top's going to get fan bracing, just like a classical guitar. And the rest is... Put some braces on, there's no worries of anything else. Braces and... Uh, Cut the hole for that, glue that on, and deal with uh, how this merges here. And uh, this is the decorative part of the fretboard that we uh, cut off. I'll deal with that. It won't look like this when I'm done. Yourself Chirango top kit. Got this from the original top. This. A new fret that I'm using to disguise the joint. This from the original top. But I've recut this. They put this side to a point. It was asymmetrical and I didn't like it. I've matched it. And the top. It's a thing of beauty. I let the top tell me what to do. This is what it told me to do. The top is its full thickness, uh, near an eighth of an inch. Um, I'll do some thinking on it, but my intent is the top that was on there was 60 to 80 thousandths. That's a sixteenth to a little more than that. Um, and it failed. And the bracing was... Um, 
here's a piece of one of the braces. Uh, the braces just were like a diamond shape that they didn't have length and structural integrity. Um, kerfing, a lot of kerfing all the way around. Uh, these were triangles, but the bandsaw cut through them. Uh, this top will have no kerfing. The glues that we have are just good enough. There's a lot of surface area here. It's not a sixteenth of an inch mahogany. Um, let me fill that. Um, I re-strengthened this. There's uh, two layers of thin solid spruce that I cut from this top and one layer of solid spruce from this new top and they're all bonded in here to give the neck uh, foolproof just didn't look thick enough back here and I want it to be bulletproof it's going to be bulletproof and look good um, it originally had this hokey pearl stuff I don't know how it went yeah something like that yeah like that uh, this is not going to happen. Uh, this is just dead and sound. Uh, it's, it's flexible plastic with uh, another layer of adhesive. Um, my tendency is going to be to put some tasteful carbon fiber pickguardy type thing on here. Um, but not that. It'll be black and white and uh, no edge trim. Form follows function. Well, it's done and uh, I like it a lot. I've been playing it and recording with it. Uh, it's an open E right now, so I've been playing an open E many, many, many years. So I'll noodle a little on it.
Two old people lying in bed. One rolled over to the other and said, I got a story I really want to tell. It's about four dinner at the OK Corral. He had a gun on his hip, he had a rose on his chest. 